GG, Tui Shat. That means we have a new ship, the Tide Runner. Is this thing functional in space? It's surprisingly nimble for something made of trees. Made of wood? So we've got warp prep as usual. Tide Runner. Immediately after you play the left or mo rightmost card in your hand, move left or right one. At the start of combat, add an anchor to your draw pile. Your ship cannot move if this card is in your hand. Hmm. Yeah, definitely an interesting ship to play. I want to do Isaac. Have we done Isaac Drake Riggs? That's not the right thing. No, we haven't. Isaac Drake's Riggs it is, then. On hardest. Let's try it out. Ooh, very low... Oh my god. Two max hull and three max shield by default. Yikes. Remove two. Remove two looks really good. Yeah, overheat with two max hull. Oh my. Spooky. Keep having another dream, cat. Does this one have a cool sword too? Yeah. Except you were the one with the sword. All right, now you've got my attention. Well, I think the sword was a metaphor. I don't remember the details, but we were all there. The world was ending, but you were holding it back. But there was something wrong with you. You were different. And then I wake up. Oh, cool, and there's icons. Show me what's gonna do. And actually, considering... Ooh, the, the one cannon, though, is awkward as heck. Starting with Scramble is excellent. So I cannot move. But we can play the card, right? Yes, and we move after playing the card, too. Okay. Duly noted. Heatsink would just wiggle me back and forth. Seems like a very maneuverable ship. Seems like seems like it'll be quite strong. From Hell's Heart. I like exothermic release. Get rid of all of your heat and make an attack. Explosive slug can be interesting. Ooh. Four damage piercing for two heat. But I don't want to overheat ever, so let's take exothermic release. This will also help me if we run into a uh, heat hazard on the map. Pathing. Take three repair nodes or two elites. I can't do a combination thereof. I think I'm going to go for the repair nodes. Upgraded cards are very good in this game. That's what I'm learning. Ah, the stinky net. Target acquired.
almost miscalc that. That could have killed me. <laughs> could have just killed me. Fun. Uh, I see you're not dodging, so get shot. Yeah, that definitely could have lined up with the cockpit and just killed me. But it did not. So it dodges all the way out of the way. So it'll do the same thing. It'll go over here. Okay, that's not too bad. gonna dodge all the way out of the way of this shot. So it'll go one, two over. It's gonna shoot this location and the drone's gonna hit it. Works for me. Pretty cool. And it'll dodge over one, so it's gonna get shot twice, which means we're fine. Options! Draw more cards next turn and evade. Heal one whole, gain three heat can be kind of weird. We could maybe use that to our advantage. I like options a lot. It's card draw. Card draw's good. Oh, frickin' Wizbo in a solar flare again? Holy crap. Okay, good thing we have a uh, heat sink here. Terrifying. This could be the end here, that's for sure. We're counting on exothermic release to make up the difference, though. So. And I need to play heatsink, unfortunately. And we should play corrupted core. That's garbage to your deck, though. I really don't like it. And, of course, this is the turn I can't move. I guess we're more likely to draw this with the draw upgrades. Hmm. Concerning. Toxic is bad. So I don't want to play Miasma. We'll get play EMP Slug Exothermic Release. Do some damage. That would mean not playing Toxic. That's unacceptable. If we don't play Toxic, we're instantly screwed. So we need to exothermic release parallel shift. Oh boy. No EMP slug for us. That's right, you're stealing my people. Thank you. 
Wizbo, you are the worst. This anchor into heatsink is good. And then we get back our pilot. Being able to play these miasmas is pretty terrible, though. I guess I could play both of them if I'm willing to take one damage this turn, which I am not. It does seem very... This ship is does seem very good. Definitely. Definitely seems very good. So we can kill this turn. We have to take the one hole damage from Heat, though. I guess that's not too bad. Unfortunately, we do take Heat damage before the drones fire, to my knowledge. Bummer. Good news is we didn't die to Wizbo. Totally stun the enemy for two heat. Attack equal to your heat, but then end your turn. Charge beam I like. I heard of Dream Quest. Yes, that's the... Spire-like, right? Yes, we we played Dream Quest on stream, actually. Kind of a precursor to Slay the Spire. It's uh, horrendously unbalanced, but kind of cool. Neat that it's on iOS. Didn't realize it was on more platforms than just Steam. And then make Charge Beam not exhaust. I mean, just having Charge Beam is pretty sweet. Hail and well met. Could heal two whole, but who needs to do that? It's time to remove the third basic shot. Good EMP slug. Uh, no, that's a drone mark two. We're taking two currently. One. 
Too many drones here, man. I'm gonna destroy their own shield drone and their own attack drone. This is great. your discard pile, move a card to the top of the draw pile. That can be quite nice with the charge beam. Costing one, though, is kind of bad. Less cards is more, I think. Fracture detection. One enemy part is made brittle at the start of the fight. Happy Wednesday to you, Pope. Back to try and steal some artifacts again, are we? Won't happen again, bud. Slug B is okay. Tactron B. A, uh, Tactron A is great, as ever. Charge Beam A is pretty good as well. Didn't realize Charge Beam B didn't exhaust. That's kind of cool. You can play it multiple times. Come on, the Super Beam. Favorite crew member yet? Hard to hard to say actually. I think there's a couple good candidates. Target the weak bar. Easy damage. Just gotta know where it is. Catch me. See ya, suckers. Yeah, they can move a lot if they want to.
Next time you would gain any heat, instead lose serenity. Could take another charge beam. Ooh, double charge beam. Zero cost move in bolt is okay, although it exhausts. It's draw three. Hm. Take another beam here. Options B is cute. Options B is really good card draw. Although more card draw means the anchor gets into our hand more often, which is potentially a problem. Let's go on Sam Baron. Freaking 10 streak, it happens. Let's upgrade to EMP slug. Early heat sink upgrade to make it flippable? That makes sense too. And it can be upgraded. It's two move. Flippable. That is pretty good. Big crystal. I always get seasick on this ship. <laughs> that makes sense. Just gonna go EMP slug basic block. Keep one shield. Okay, we definitely don't want to stay here. Tech drone, you're going to block for me. We're dead. <laughs> it's about time. Yes, we drew into anchor with the draw shot. I could have thought about not doing that, but um, that definitely got me. We can't move out of the way of this attack now. And yes, that is our first loss in this game. Makes sense. The ship that had four max hull is our first loss. Plus a genuine misplay, too, so. Can't say I'm too surprised. About time. Like I said, this game is not necessarily too easy. I find it actually just a, the right amount of difficult most of the time. But this is not the end. Fushan. So it goes. That anchor, man. I'm not 100% sure I like this ship. But it does seem kind of powerful. GG. I could also see uh, Drake and Isaac being maybe a rough pairing. But all up to that that bad play, mainly. We could have done that fight, no problem. So it goes. So it goes. Well, Twitch chat, that is going to be the end of today's stream here.